Hello, I'm Edward Tart. I'm a math teacher, and this is a math video. In this video, I hope that by thinking along with me, you will discover a way in which geometry, the study of shapes, can shed light on arithmetic and algebra, the study of numbers. This video is about square numbers. As you progress with me, I invite you to think ahead. Try to anticipate what I will say next. I will frequently pause for you to have the opportunity to do that. At one point in the video, I will say one, two, pause. At that moment, I suggest that you actually pause the video and give yourself a longer period of time to think over what I will say next. So, this is about square numbers. A square number is a number of objects that can be arranged in a square with rows and columns. Square means it has to have the same number of rows as columns. For example, 9 is a square number. Why is that? It's because I can draw, for example, 9 marbles arranged in the form of a square consisting of three rows and three columns. That's why 9 is a square number. I'm going to make a list of square numbers. I'm going to make a two-column table. I will call the left-hand column the X column. I will number it, uh, counting numbers from 1 to 10. But we understand that the numbers actually continue indefinitely beyond 10. Now I want to use each of those numbers to generate a square number. How will that work? For example, I take the number 5. What will I do to the, to the number 5 to get a square number? <clears throat> I will multiply it by itself. 5 times 5, which is 25. So if I call this the x column, I could call the right-hand column the x times x column, meaning the number times itself. X times X is very often written like this, and we read it X to the second power, or X squared. The little 2 is called a power or exponent. It means that we use the X number two times as a multiplier, as 5 times 5. So now I will write the other square numbers generated by these numbers 1 through 10. They are in order. 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, that's what we have here, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25, 6 times 6 is 36, 7 times 7 is 49, 8 times 8 is 64, 9 times 9 is 81, 10 times 10 is 100. Now let us look down the column of square numbers and try to find a pattern. What can you do to one number in the x squared column to get the number below it? <clears throat> More specifically, what do you need to add to one number in the x squared column to get the next number. We could call these the differences. To one, we add three and get four. Uh, put another way, four minus one is three, so we'll call the three the difference. The next difference is five, because four plus five is nine, or to put it another way, 9 minus 4 is 5. 
and the differences proceed to the next difference is 7, then 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19. So we now have this list of differences which describe the pattern in the x squared column. How would you describe in words these differences? They are consecutive odd numbers starting with 3. How far apart are they? They are two apart in each case. But now can you notice not only do these differences relate to the x squared column, but they relate to the x column also. How do the differences, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on, relate to the numbers in the x column? Do you notice 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 4 is 7, 4 plus 5 is 9, and so on? We subtract numbers in the x squared column to get the differences. We add numbers in the x column to get the very, very same differences. And now, why is all this true? And here's your big challenge in this video. Can you make up a geometric interpretation that is an interpretation of geometry, and this is geometry, to explain uh, the facts about these numbers. That's your big challenge, and here comes the pause. One, two, pause. So, do you have a geometric interpretation to shed light on these numbers? I do. Here it is. <clears throat> we start the, with the square number one. One marble. And there's the square around it. <clears throat> I will add three marbles in an L shape to get the next square number. One, two, three. That gives us the next square number, four. And the three that I added are 1 plus 2. The 1 not including the corner, the 2 including the corner. 1 plus 2 is 3. And now, to get the next square number, I must add the next L shape, which has to be bigger than this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, forming the next square number, 9. And that 5 consists of these two, not including the corner, plus these three, which do include the corner. That's 2 plus 3 makes 5. And now to form the next square number, I must add the next L, yet bigger than this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That forms the next square number, 16, and those 7 consist of these 3, which do not include the corner, plus these 4, which do include the corner. 3 plus 4 is 7, and so it goes on and on and on. And so this geometry as I see it, sheds light on this arithmetic and algebra. I hope that you agreed with me, and if you discovered this during the pause, I congratulate you, and thanks for watching the video. I hope that you have enjoyed it.